Hallelujah! Good morning and welcome once again to today's reading of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is January the 14th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Praying for Leaders. Our opening verse is from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 2 and it reads, I exhort therefore that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, verses 6 to 12, we find a very interesting story about the missionary work of Barnabas and Paul in Paphos, a city known for a combination of immorality and darkness. In the course of their evangelical work in the city, the deputy, Sergius Paulos, wanted to hear God's word and sent for Barnabas and Paul. But one of his very influential officials, a noted false prophet and sorcerer, attempted to frustrate their missionary efforts. He did not want his boss to hear the gospel. But Paul, having observed Elimas' deceptive and malicious tendencies, firmly expostulated with him and said, And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. That's from the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 11. Suddenly, the man went blind and got out of their way. Hallelujah. Sergius Paulus was a prudent man. He was not a corrupt official, but he was unaware of the kind of influence that Elimas would have on him, having been planted by Satan. These are often part of Satan's ways of getting across to government and political leaders to influence them and get them to do the wrong things. Therefore, in praying for the leaders of your city, state or country, remember that there are times Satan plants his own people among them to distract them from hearing the word and from getting to know God. Therefore, using the name of Jesus, break the power of Satan over those who work with leaders and seek to influence or counsel them to go against the will and purposes of God. Furthermore, command the devil to lose his grip over their minds so the light of the glorious gospel of Christ would shine onto them. Affirm that their hearts are open to receive the gospel willingly and as a result, righteousness springs up in their hearts and the wisdom of God guides their thoughts. Pray for leaders and all men this way as admonished in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. Hallelujah. Now, wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this prayer right after me? Lord, your desire is for the leaders and people of the nations to be saved and for your righteousness to rule their hearts and guide their thinking. Therefore, I pray for leaders of nations that their hearts be opened and receptive to the gospel. I pray that your word will have free course and be glorified and have prevailing power in their lives, effectively cutting off every negative influence from among them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. And for you to understand this message even better, take some time to do a further study on the scripture, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for tuning in. Share this beautiful gospel to your world. Click on the subscribe button and tune in again tomorrow for another powerful edition of Rhapsody of Realities. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. 
Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.